Bro, I can't. Like, if I'm recording an intro, like, I, 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 my brain hurts. Like, I can't do it. I have to write out a whole script. I gotta repeat it four times, and I still won't like the way it sounds. I don't care. First matchup, Invasion S&D versus Terminal HP. Uh, so Terminal- I don't know, obviously, bro. Obviously not in the game anymore. And we, I, I'm gonna say we base it off its its most recent form. Cause Terminal HP, the, the, the hard points got moved around a couple times, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so the last version So the last term, version. hard point. So I think the last version was, P1 was library yeah p2 was like the bottom of eskies yeah p3 was dreams mm -hmm. p4 was burger and then p5 yep. was like top class. outside yeah yeah, yeah. Right. boxes okay so invasion snd is a map that hasn't changed the entire season it is super boring and super defense heavy uh basically anyone who gets on forklift is guaranteed the round offense or defense i think the only good thing going for an evasion snd is that it, it's easily clutchable if that makes sense like if you're in a 1v3 it's not impossible to win the round you just have to get into power position probably terminal hard point terminal hard point I, yeah I, i'm gonna ask you this flat out and this will determine who should win this round do you yeah. think terminal hard point should have been taken out of this game Honestly, I thought Terminal Hardpoint wasn't terrible. They and fit. watching Terminal Hardpoint was pretty fire. Once I feel like they, there were some good fixed, matches. Once they fixed the Burger Hill to make it actually yeah. contestable and not a guaranteed full 60, I feel yeah, like they yeah. made the map so much better. Yeah, that but hill then was they OP did that first. for no reason because then it just got vetoed out. But I, I'm gonna still I'm gonna give it a, I'm gonna give it a Terminal HP. I'm gonna have it moving on to the next round. I feel like Invasion is is super boring. And yep. I feel like we can we can do better. Moving on to the next Karachi, one. Oh, Karachi, double Karachi, Karachi bro. double Karachis. Karachi control versus Karachi hardpoint. Karachi hardpoint. Easy. Easy. Thursday. Easy. Yep. Any reasoning behind it? Just, you just hate Honestly, Karachi Honestly, bro, control? I wish that the hill was still bottom church uh, yes. for that one hill. I will say. But I, will I still, say even, with, even with its most recent form, Karachi hardpoint, Miles, plays better than in. Karachi Control. Yes. I think Karachi Control is one of those maps that's just too easy, in a sense, because if you're on offense, if you get a four dead and you're stacking the B point, there's literally no way to contest the point at all. It's literally you just accept mm. defeat. Uh, whereas Karachi HP, even with the outside hill, I feel like every hill is breakable. The spawns aren't too terrible, except for that like junk hill. But I feel like it's just, it's just more balanced, in a sense. I feel like Karachi control can get really frustrating yeah. because whether you're on offense or defense, you're getting spawn trap, which shouldn't happen on a control, uh, which we'll get into when we talk about high-rise control. But I, I I agree with you. I think Karachi yeah. Karachi hardpoint takes it by by a fucking landslide. All right, we're going back out to the top. Two maps that are no longer in the rotation: Skidrow hardpoint, <laughs> Terminal hardpoint. I'm gonna say this. And I know this is going to get a lot of hate in the comments. I'm going with Skid Row. I got to think about it. I'm going with Skid Row. Because I'm going to tell you why. The, the, the winner of this round has to be uh, which hill is, is stronger. Is it Skid Row P2, which is top factory, or is it Terminal Burger? Skid Row, which, which hill is stronger? Which, which hill was, was less annoying, if that makes sense? Less annoying. Um, uh, <laughs> I, just, I don't know. P5, I, dude. Honestly, fucking P5 Skid Row got annoying at times. I I will give you that. I will say that that. that I'm gonna say, I I would say I think Terminal edges it out. Okay, so we have our we have our first. I, I feel like it's close. I feel like it's close though. I would say P5 on Skid Row was super annoying just because you spawned P3. Yeah. I feel like spawning there is like it's impossible to break that hill. Which is fair. I mean, but it also is it's balanced because if you don't rotate from P4 in time, you're not going to get to P5 in time and then you're guaranteed losing a full 60. So it is kind of your fault, which is why I say Skid Row HP is balanced. I mean, say, this is really close for me, so I would I'm say I would say both, I'm good with you picking your both, both because I could go either way. So like 
If you're strong on Skid Row, I'm down to go Skid Row. Uh, I, the only reason that I am strong on Skid Row is because as annoying as P2 was, I felt like towards the end of its life cycle, people were figuring out how to break P2 easier and easier. If yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, that's true. Whereas Terminal Burger Hill, that hill was a fucking nuisance until the day that map died. You know what I mean? Yeah, but you can still contest it with its most recent form. That is true. Oh, it's one of those. It's one of those matchups. Where, yeah, like, I mean they're both they're both OP hills, a hundred percent. It's one of those matchups <laughs> where it's like, it's on the day. Which one would I rather play? Because sometimes I just want to headbang P1 off spawn on Skidder, and then there's sometimes where I want to like just hold top third on terminal. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's true. Ah, oh. I'm down to go whatever you want here. It's a toss up for me. I'm gonna say just so I don't get hate comments, I'm gonna go with Terminal because I feel like if I pick Skidra right now, people are gonna say P2 is fucking OP and I'm retarded. There we go. <laughs> All right, bro. There we go. All right, <laughs> next matchup: Subbase versus Six Star S and D. This is gonna be the only time that I pick a search map over a fucking hardpoint map. Give me yeah, six I star. agree. Six Give star S and D all six day. Star. Six star S and D all day long. If, if you like subbase, you like being a little turd that likes to sit in fucking cruddy head glitches. All right, six star S and D. Even though it is impossible to break a bomb unless you smoke down mid, subbase hardpoint is just the biggest fucking boner ever. I I can't stand that map. Spawning, spawning in P3 when P4 pops is easily the biggest yeah. pain in my ass on planet Earth. <laughs> yeah. You literally have to complete a half marathon to even have a chance of contesting the hill. And even when you get there, they are already on demon head glitches that you can't yeah, shoot them off of. Bro, facts. P2's annoying. P5 is annoying if you're spawning on P3. Like, the whole map in general is just annoying if you are not spawning on the right side of the map. Yeah, 6 star SD is pretty solid. 6 star SD. Like it's, it's a happy medium. You can win on yeah. defense, you can win on offense, but it's, just, it's dedicated to how well your team works together. Whereas, sub base is literally. If your team Ultra. gets a lucky spawn, you're, you're set for the rest of the map. Yeah. So six star S and D. That's what we're going. Yeah, with. I agree. Yeah. All day. No, no question. Next round, real hard point, high res S and D. I, bro. Real hard point all day long. No need to discuss. No, fucking. No need. <laughs> <laughs> don't even waste there's, any time. There's, there's no. No need. fuck. Everybody knows. Not no debate. High rise you search. You gotta is, lay is, off the fucking papanya yeah, if you disagree. High and it's. I'm not saying that because I prefer hard point over search. I'm saying that because high rise S and D is the biggest fucking shit show on planet earth yeah, real hard point solid bro real hard point is pretty fun to play you know what you know what real hard point uh reminds me of and i'm gonna say this as it goes through the bracket because i see it getting to like the semifinals. i see real hard point as like a bocage from vanguard you know what uh, i mean uh yeah but i think it plays better i yeah but i mean just like, like spawn wise like the headbang just constant gunfights yeah, like if, fun, if yeah. you if you want to get on COD after not playing for a week and you want to warm up on a map, you want real hardpoint to be your first map. You do yeah. not want it to be a fucking high rise search. You know what I mean? Yeah. I I, I say real hardpoint. Real hardpoint's going through 100. percent that, that was probably the easiest one we're gonna get. Hopefully they yeah, get they get times. High rise <laughs> control. <laughs> oh god. Oh, dude. Skidro Battle of the shitters. Battle, Battle of, of the, the shitters. shitters. Literally. Honestly, I'd probably say high rise control. I honestly want to knock both these teams out because whoever wins is gonna fucking lose the real hard point anyways oh high rise control skid row s and d skid row s and d was not even in for like yeah it was barely in it was in i feel like we have to go high rise control because we played it way more just off of reps and how the longevity yeah but here's here's the problem is no I, i'm not gonna argue it I, i'm gonna give it a high rise but I, i'm gonna i'm gonna save my argument for when it goes up against. Well, this Korea. fucking bomb is in the spawn bro <laughs> like, <laughs> like yo what? that's fucking fast <laughs> oh my god i i my argument for skidder snd is that that map is very good for 1v1s other than that that map yeah is true so yeah high rise control it, it can it can get its one win it can get its one win <laughs> invasion hardpoint karachi hardpoint again we're going off the most recent version of invasion hardpoint which is p1 which is the middle tank 
P2, which is construction, P3, which is laundry, P4, which is courtyard, and P5, which is like that back bottom blue area. So we're not basing it off when Invasion Hardpoint used to have top palace as a hill, because fuck that shit. What, what are you thinking here, Outlaw? Wh which one just off- no, Karachi Hardpoint. Off, off instincts, Karachi Hardpoint? Karachi Hardpoint honestly doesn't play that bad compared to other maps and modes. Um, Invasion Hardpoint, I would compare to like another sub base. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. I was thinking half marathon to rotate to every hill. Yeah. If you get stuck in one of the spawns, you're literally fucked for the game. Um, it's just cruddy, bro. There's so many places to hide. There's so many places to check. You spawn hella far away. Like, it's just... Karachi did. I'd rather play Karachi. See, as a sub player, looking at Invasion, it is not a sub map at all. Nah, you there, can't run a sub. It's, it's four MCWs, and it's whoever has I mean, a sub base job. is the same for... Uh some teams yeah i say i say invasion has sub base syndrome and it shouldn't go through if sub base didn't go through i'm gonna give it yeah. to karachi uh the one thing i will say is both these maps if we were doing like a tier list these maps would be kind of at the same these maps would be like high c low b if you know what i mean i feel like i would put karachi over invasion oh absolutely but, uh, but yeah. i'm saying like the way these maps are designed, they play, yeah they're close yeah they they're both shitty exactly the same you know what I mean <laughs> they're both they're both kind of shit bro so we'll we'll give it to Karachi Karachi can go through uh, yep oh my god oh my <laughs> god this oh, matchup oh fuck dude oh my god six star hard point versus V star dude, hard point what is point. that matchup man how is this first round what oh I feel like this could be finals. <laughs> this I, could literally oh be finals, bro. God, <laughs> like, what? At least semis, you know what I mean? This is at least a semis match, if not finals. And remember, we're basing it off Six Star's most recent update. So, four hills. Statue Hill for P4. Honestly, bro, I love them both. I, I think they're well. probably top three best map mode combination in the game in my opinion i'm just going on I, I feel like six stars rotations make more sense which is why it should get that yes and i feel because like... the double back spawns on vista can be tough if your teammates I was, I was don't know what you're doing to, i was just about to say that's exactly why i think six yeah. star has the advantage over vista is because despite everybody saying to change p3 and p4 those two hills are literally next to each other, and you spawn right fucking next to both of them. I mean, you can break both hills, I guess, but it, it really depends on your teammates. But yeah, that's what that's why I personally would give it to Six Star. I would as well. I, I think Six Star is better uh the way the map flows the way from rotation to rotation i also will say that for six star the one thing it has over vista as well is the hills don't feel like they're full 60s i feel like every hill you can fight over you can fight over yeah. p2 you can definitely fight over p3 it'll be a nightmare but you can fight over it and p4 is just a straight up bang up. you know what i mean whereas vista if you're if you're controlling the p3 p4 side of the map you're guaranteed at least 20 to 30 points on every hill other than p1 yeah yeah so i'm i'm gonna give it a six star i i'm so mad that vista was put up against it i wanted vista to be like yeah, that's tough, bro. Map. but yeah i think six star goes through here for you us and <laughs> there's there's no fucking question if you like invasion control yeah, bro. This map was Get getting that out. shit out of here. <laughs> this map, this map was getting first rounded regardless. Like, control of was so good in Black Ops 4, bro, but it really has not been the same since. Like in Invasion oh. and Control is just terrible. Invasion just... Control, I've played Invasion Control easily. I mean, honestly, I feel like all the times. control maps are terrible. All three of them. But Invasion is probably like bottom two. Bottom, uh, bottom, yeah, it, bottom, bottom one, bro. Bottom, bottom, bottom one. <laughs> I'd give high rise over invasion control. Yeah, what the fuck? 
Facts. Get that the I, fuck out of here. Real S&D, you get a buy here. We're going to already update that. Instant there's, buy. There's, there's no argument. But I, I will say this for Invasion Control. I've played that map a thousand times. And it plays the exact fucking same a thousand times. Yeah. It's go for A off spawn. If A doesn't work out, you're guaranteed B. And then there's no fucking way you're capping A unless the other team scam. That is exactly how every <laughs> yeah. round of fucking yeah. invasion goes. If, or someone blacks out and goes massive. Basically. And yeah. if, if you're able on defense to put the, the other team on offense in the invasion spawn trap, that is easily more annoying than high-rise control. More annoying by, by default. Yep, like I agree. Rio S and D gets a buy. I'm not gonna argue it until it gets into the next round because it's not worth wasting our breath. Invasion sucks yeah. that much. Wait, hold on. I'm just looking at this. Invasion Invasion is out, right? I mean all, invasion all, is terrible. All three invasion ba invasion S and D yeah, is no. out, invasion HP is out, invasion control yeah, is terrible. out. Yep. Yeah, get that shit out of here. That map, if we were ranking it, would be fucking F. <laughs> Last one. Two S and D's going head to head. One obviously not here anymore. Thank fucking God. Uh, and the other one, still in the game, but you never get it in rank play ever. I think I've gotten it. I get it like once every two weeks. I mean, I know what you're gonna say. I know. What you're do you gonna think say, I'm gonna say? I know you're gonna say fucking Karachi. I know you're yeah. gonna say Terminal's fucking out. Yeah, I, I, I think it's Karachi S and D's better than Terminal S and D. Uh, I'm gonna relate. Terminal S and D was so one dimensional, bro, and the fucking head glitches inside the plane was so ridiculous. I was gonna say that Terminal S and D. That bomb site sucked. Terminal S and D has invasion S and D syndrome, where if you're on offense, you're praying to God someone on the other team scams so that you can get bomb site control. Because if you don't get a first blood, you're guaranteed to lose the fucking round. Yeah, I agree. Having a bomb, it, having a bomb in a plane is great for trick shotting but for for rank play <laughs> it is it is atrocious yeah bro hit the fucking plane bang wrist twist yeah uh i mean i'm, I'm gonna say the same thing about rio S D for karachi i'm not gonna argue it too much it's it's a pretty solid map it's not anything amazing but compared to terminal S D, it, it, it just takes the fucking cake you know what i mean yeah for sure all right we are into the quarter finals Starting, do you want to start from the top or the bottom? How do you want to do this? No, let's go back to the top. Oh, you're a top kind of guy. I like it. All right. <laughs> Terminal HP versus six star S and D. Six star S and D. Really? See, I'm the yeah. other way. I was going to say Terminal HP. I was fighting for Skidrow HP, but now that I'm seeing Terminal up against six star S and D, I think Terminal has an argument. Oh. I feel like six star plays decent though. Like, for S and D, I mean Terminal Hardpoint didn't play bad either. Though. That's the thing. That's what I'm saying. From a map flow perspective, Terminal Hardpoint plays better than Six Star S and D, but Six Star S and D in comparison to the other search maps is one of the best maps. You know? Yeah. I this is honestly all this tier list is is just uh, an, an ode to Terminal Hardpoint. Just I want it back in the game. I don't know why they got rid of Terminal Hardpoint. <laughs> I I love Terminal Hardpoint. I, the one thing that I remember about Terminal Hardpoint, a vivid memory, is us teaching Mist and Sinistry like how to play oh, replay yeah. that sniping <laughs> video because that video was fucking yeah. godlike. So that's my one good memory on Terminal HP. <laughs> the, the, right other, the other memory I have from Terminal HP is spawning where P5 is and having to run a mile to get the burger hill. That's that's the other memory. Um, yep. Also, a con about Terminal HP is this: how sticky the not not the P5 spawn, but the other spawn security. The security spawn was also very very sticky, and that that was a problem for a very long time for Terminal. Yeah. I just I I don't see a reason that terminal shouldn't go through. <laughs> I, I, wanna, I, wanna, I disagree. I, hear, I disagree, uh, but it's uh, your. No, it's I, I want to hear. I want to hear your argument for six star. Persuade me, because I'm. I'm like, I just I'm think like it's better, bro. Like, I'd rather play six star S D over terminal hardpoint. To be honest, that, that's literally my reasoning. Like if I had to f sit there and play it, I would rather play six star S D over terminal terminal hardpoint. But it's not bad. 
That's what I'm saying. I'm like, I'm like, like so... I'm not. I, I'm. I still think Six Star SD is better, personally, in my opinion. I think it's more fun to play and watch. But, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Because I just had a thought in my head about the subliners last round versus Optic, where Kismet and Hydra got like that two v four, and how yeah. crazy that map can be when someone smokes out a bomb. I'll give it a six star. I'll give it a six star. There you go. Terminal's out. I, I miss you, Terminal. I do. But for, for the <laughs> sake terminal, of a tier bro. list, for the sake of a tier list, you're out. Next Rip up. Terminal. I mean, this is this real art point. <laughs> this is no fucking question high rise control can go fuck itself propane tank yep. i said i was gonna save my breath to talk shit about high rise control propane tanks bullshit spawn traps fucking the zone is too far away fucking this map was a shit show facts oh my god trying to win a round of, of of high rise control on offense with my rank play teammates would be the equivalent of trying to get my head cut off by a guillotine it's just not fun rio <laughs> hp i mean there's no surprise semi-finals have fun there you go karachi hp six star hp two hard points um i think this one is is less of a debate than six stars first round versus v i agree uh, Karachi, you had a good route. You, you you won two. You won twenty CDL points, but uh, uh, you're you're not comparing to to Bokaj V two. You're, you're just <laughs> six six star six star is more fun. It flows better. Uh, it doesn't have top third, which already puts it miles above you. You're in a green yeah. six star. Yeah, hundred percent. Hundred percent. All right, day. that I, I'm happy six star got in the semifinals. I I still miss Vista though. Next up, last one of the quarterfinals. Uh, Rio, bro. Two Rio. two S and Ds. Two S and Ds. Uh, Rio S and D. Karachi S and D. Okay. Rio. You're you say Rio. Can yep. can I humor you in an argument? Go ahead. Okay. Oh, the God. bomb the bomb placements on Rio S and D are where top mid p1 mm -hmm. and p4 behind the white van yeah whereas karachi are placed outside a bus and in front of the bridge i'm gonna say from a, a search and destroy perspective i'm not a search player but I, I i played the game enough where i can say karachi spawn routes are better i feel like there's there's more luxury running a spawn route as a sub on karachi than there is on rio I feel like Karachi, yeah. from a search perspective, there is more use of your lethals and tacticals. I feel like smoke grenades are used may more, especially if you're going to B. Um, and three, I feel like the power positions on Karachi are better than Rio. And I'm going to say this, which might be controversial. I think retaking the a site on rio is harder than retaking the bridge site on karachi a site's the one by van on rio yeah i don't know i this one's actually kind of closer than i thought because you can win on both sides of the bomb yeah. on which one um on both maps it's not That's what i don't I'm think both i don't think i don't think either map is really like that one-sided both these maps are very balanced they're, they play very yeah. similarly, where one bomb site is further away, the other bomb site is the same distance away. Uh, but both bomb sites, if you play them properly, are very easy to hold, but also not impossible to retake. I don't know. I could go either way. I'm gonna, down I'm, for whatever you choose. I'm going to say this, and it may piss you off because I know you are a low key optic fan. Oh. I want to pick Karachi because Optic got knocked out by Miami round 11. You're retarded. <laughs> <laughs> You're retarded. I had to do it. I had to do it. Major 4. Uh, sorry, Optic. NYSL, you know we got the dub. Uh, I do like New York, though. New York's my second team. Oh, this one is such a 50-50. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to base it off this. I, I want you to base your decision off this. Which of these two maps has a better chance against 6-star hardpoint? I feel like it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it doesn't matter. This is why a bracket is so stupid. It's Atlanta Phase going up against a bottom eight team. Like it's just it's <laughs> oh fuck. Uh just for the sheer fact that Karachi S and D isn't 
in the rotation enough in ranked play. I made I mean, my bro, argument. I think that's just you. I I made my argument. I I think Karachi is a decent map, but I I will give it to Rio. I will I will. All right. It. I mean, I could have gone either way. All right. So we're in the semifinals. We're gonna take a Rio, little. Rio. We're gonna take a little break before we go into the maps. I want you to notice one thing. We're in the semifinals. There's four maps, which are considered the top four maps. Do you see a single Modern Warfare 2 remake in the top four maps? No. Yeah. Yeah. That's... Yeah. So this is this is my ad. This is my campaign for Treyarch and Black Ops 6 and everything Call of Duty developers who make a game of the future. Stop making remakes. Please. I mean... You, you have... Okay. Uh... I, I, I agree to a degree, but the thing is, I know people love Modern Warfare 2, bro. Like, we all do. Right? I was there, too. It was lit. But... The Treyarch maps that they remake are 10 times fucking better than the Modern Warfare 2 maps that they remade. What? Karachi Innovation suck, bro. Terminal, honestly, is up for debate on how good it plays. I personally like Terminal. Of course, it's iconic. That's why people love it. Yeah. But compare that to a standoff and a fucking raid, bro. Like, I would say... I, I agree. Like, I, I, say... ho I really hope that there's they don't bring that back, especially... I, I mean, I wouldn't mind, like, one or two maps. Maybe, like, only standoff S&D and raid hardpoint. No raid S&D, but raid hardpoint would be fun. That's like, correct. cap that to, like, two maps and modes max. Max. Emphasis and on the max. And then have, not, like, all the create, newer maps. Do not create Honestly, I feel an like the entire maps good. game. Do not create an entire game full of remakes. Nobody wanted it. The game is dead within seven months. Okay? Yeah. Uh, listen, I, I play COD almost every day. I got very bored of these fucking remakes. Please, Treyarch, if you are going to remake a map, let it be one or two for the entire year. Make new original Well, shit. I mean, they're going to bring a bunch in, but I mean for, like, the competitive scene, like, you should yes. be capped at, uh, like, two maps and modes. That is that is my rant. Now now we can go into it. I just, wa I just wanted to make that point clear that top four maps, top four maps... I don't see a single MW2 remake. Point blank period. Yeah. Okay. Semifinals. First semifinals. Six star S and D Rio Hardpoint. I already know what I would pick. Go but on. I do enjoy both maps. I, I think it's clear we're in the semifinals. I think it's clear that these are two of the most enjoyable maps to play. If I want to play an S and D, I want it to be six star. If I want to play a hard point, I would not mind it being a Rio. Yeah. But what 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 do you think should go through? I think I know your answer. Real hard point. Yeah. We're both hard point kids. We we are not search kids. We don't sit in fucking GBs and eights. I mean I was a search kid, bro, actually. Yeah. People just play it so differently on ranked than uh G B kids do. Like you, it's harder on ranked because you can't you can't predict shitters, bro. Yeah. Actually, like it's it's just randomness. I think Rio considering the fact that Rio was the first original map that Sledgehammer put in you got to think about it like this. It's been a map that has been in the rotation for the past three splits, and it has not undergone a single uh, hill change. It has not undergone a single update, which I think is an attest to yeah. how good the map was and how good it still is. Mm, that's valid. Yeah, so I, I, I agree with Rio. Uh, Six-star S&D, you are obviously one of the top two. I mean, they're both fun. Like, but I think Rio definitely edges it out a bit. I, I think Rio edges it out 100%. It can go into the finals. I mean, we predicted it from the start. It had an easy road to get here, just like phase to every final. Hopefully, it wins the final. We will see. <laughs> okay. Other semifinal. This one, I think, is a little more hard. Same shit, but reverse. Yeah, this is... This is... This one... I it is closer, but I still know which one edges it out, in my opinion. But I want to hear what you have to say. You're gonna be a hard point kid, aren't you? I want to hear what you have to say. <laughs> he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna confirm himself or not. Six star hard point. I mean, Bokaj V2. Uh, you could also argue that it had an easy road to get to the finals, just like Phase. Um, I mean, six star hard point is just more fun. The map is more I mean, beautiful. Rio S and D. Can... Rio S and D is solid, but I feel like six star S and D is. I don't know. Six star S D versus Rio S D is actually really hard <laughs> hard to pick. Those those two maps had to head go very well against each other. I'm kinda yeah. happy that they weren't in the semifinals together. 
Uh, it makes it a little easier for us. But 3 O S and D, I I'm not gonna lie, I have most of my clutches, as in 1v2s and 1v3s, on that map because I feel like it's super easy to clutch on that map and the map just plays really well for search. Um, yeah. But in comparison to the bang out that is 6 star hardpoint, I I'm gonna base it off which map I would rather play. I'm giving it to six star. It's really close. It's just like the other matchup, bro, in in the semis. No, oh, no, there's no, there's no question that this is. not Nah, yeah, they're both really hard, but like I definitely think that uh, we chose the right one. I think I think Rio S and D had had a had a tough road to get here, but unfortunately, it is gonna bow out at top four. And no shocker, two hard points in the final, <laughs> which leads us. This is actually hard. <laughs> You're already thinking of, oh my god, this final. Rio versus Six Star Hardpoint. When I had this video idea, when I was dreaming it in my head, when I was making this <laughs> You already knew the answer. <laughs> I knew that these two maps were going to end up in the final. I feel yeah. like these two maps are arguably the two best maps in the game. There, I don't think there's an argument. Map mode combination. Oh, uh, yeah. These two maps. That mode combination is up for debate on how you want to rank them, but Rio and Six Star are for sure, 100. percent If I'm best two maps in the game, Vista Luke, is probably third just based on the fact that there's only one mode. If if I'm watching a series and I see these two maps, I know those yeah. teams are yeah. banging out that series. Yeah, dude, it's just the colors and everything are so much better to look at than like playing fucking Garage here in Beige, bro. It's depressing. <laughs> <laughs> it's You're literally so depressing, wrong. bro. You're so not like, wrong. I feel like we e each map has to have an argument, okay? So let's take it hill by hill, all right? P1 versus P1. Six star P1, the DJ hill versus the Rio P1. Mid. They're both just mid, bro. Both mid. <laughs> Equivalent. <laughs> like, they, next hill. I'm going to say one hill is very easy to hold if you are holding the p2 spawns and you have vending machine control whereas six star is probably one of the most contested hills which is what i argue a p1 should be i don't yeah. think a p1 should be you get a four wipe off spawn and then you can literally spawn track yeah, but on p1 because that's what this does you like. can't really hold rio that hard like that i would say because there's a lot of flank routes it makes it easier to break and that's why I think Rio P1 is better than Vista P1. But I feel like just for the sake of bang out and just for the sake of a straight headbutt, that, that mid hill on the bar is perfect. You can easily contest yeah. it. It's, it's very hard to hold. It's very chaotic. You can pop a three piece from time to time. It's a great way to start a game. It's a great way to end a game. I'll give P1 to six star. Yeah, I mean, to, to me, they're about the same. It's looking, the same shit. Looking at P2. Okay, P2 versus P2. I'm giving it to Rio. Six star P2. Six star P2 is in outside yeah, of Yeah, I would agree. I'll give it to Rio. I feel like a, a good P2, it, it's not as OP as Skidro, but you should be guaranteed if you rotate first 30 seconds. You have to have a good, a decent setup to get a good chunk of time there, which is like... I feel like a, a, a balanced P2 is if you have the spawns off, off yeah. P1 spawn, and you should be able to hold the hill for 30 seconds, and you should lose out on the P3 rotation. But the way 6-star plays and the way the spawns are and how much they flip, you can control 6-star P2 for 30 seconds, and then someone takes a flank route, and then you flip, and then you can control True. P3 for the first few yep. seconds. And that's a problem. Yeah. I would say... I agree. Rio, better P2. Rio, better P2. Rio P3 versus Six Star P3. Both considered the money hills, but both very easily breakable if you play it right. Which one, yeah. which one are you giving it to? Probably Rio. See, I'm the other way. I was going to give it a Six Star. I feel like six star. Oh is... yeah, no, my bad, my bad. Yeah, I agree. Six star. Uh, I was gonna say because six star is is easier to break from the front. Like obviously you can spam. Hot yeah, but you can still hold the back. But yeah, you can yeah, still six hold star. the back. Yeah, six star. Six star. Because yep. if in Rio, if someone happens to take a flank route, it's it's literally not even fighting for the point. It's not a money hill because you're more focused on the spawns rather than controlling the point. Whereas six star, if you just stick one person back there, that you have that spawn for the full sixty. True. 
So I, I'd give a uh, six star P3 over real hard point. So that's two one. I'm gonna compare P4, not to Rio's P4, but bridge P5. Cause I feel like that's more fair. Cause it, P5 is supposed to be like the bang out that's right next to P1. Yeah, and there's only four on a uh, six star. And, and I'm gonna say this. Right? Yeah. I, I'm gonna say this. I'm giving it to six star 100%. Just because six star six star, P4. six star P4 over Rio P5. Just yeah, because the stair glitching on Rio P5 is a fucking problem. Yeah, but that just depends on your plan. Oh, well, once you get into in a, in a lower diamond upper crim lobbies, you're getting stair glitched on fucking P5. There's no question. Yeah, but there's people in that rank that don't do that. You know what I mean? It just really depends on your plan. Uh, but yeah, people I do be say, doing it. Six star P4. The only con of six star P4 is that if you're spawning on the security side, you're spawning in P2. Like you're spawning pretty far away for a hill that's supposed to be a bang out. But if you're able to control it from the P3 side and you rotate early and you can lock down mid control, then you deserve the full 60. Yeah. I, personally, me, I'm giving six star P4 over Rio P5. P5. I agree. However, in comparison, six star P4 to Rio P4, I'm giving it to Rio. I'm giving the Van Hill more credit. Oh, this is the problem. We just went through all that, and yeah. I don't, I don't know what to pick. We just, dude, I don't know. It's so close. Oh. It, it literally depends on the fucking day. I'm happy this is the final because if the final would have been something easy, I would have been very sad, and I felt like the the video would have been let down. But my heart, I don't know, man. My heart says six star. Oh shit! Dude. I don't know about you. My heart says six star. I think I my think... heart says Rio. Oh fuck! <laughs> no, we dude. Should... <laughs> just because, and this is what edges it out for me. Just because they haven't had to touch the map. That is true. I don't. To be fair, I don't know really why they changed six star. <laughs> that is true. Um, uh, but uh, if we're going off most recent. I'm I'm a big I'm a big sledge It's so close. It's literally so fucking close. I'm a big sledgehammer hater for the simple fact that they got rid of Pool Hill. Pool Hill was easily the most fun hill and you can have the most fun and it was like not even playing the game if that made sense. Once they got rid of that, I, I was kinda mad. But I'm basing it off the most current update of the map. I can't base it off past updates. And I wanna give it to six star. <sighs> Is there know, is there a way to split this up? It's so close, bro. It's literally 50-50. You know what? Since it's so close and it's so 50-50, we can't do a tie, bro. In 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 true <laughs> in true YouTube fashion, I say we flip a coin. <laughs> I say we flip a coin. We're doing it. We're doing it right now. You pick. All right, heads heads for Rio. Flip a coin. Sim you later. Heads right. is Rio. Heads is Rio. Tails is six star. Here we go. Flip it. Flip it. Heads is Rio. Oh, oh my god! Shit, bro! <laughs> Alright. I'm a man of my word. I'm a man of my word. <laughs> Rio, you are officially declared by the power invested of a shitty rank play player. The best map on Modern Warfare 3 rank play. <laughs> Congratulations. Outlaw, it has been a pleasure. We are going to go and play the game right now, even though we probably <laughs> yeah. shouldn't because this game is super stale. But we're Oh just yeah, I'm about to get so mad, dude. If you guys enjoyed this video, <laughs> definitely be sure to leave a like and subscribe. If you want to see more ranking videos in the future, either me by myself or with Outlaw, definitely be sure to let me know in the comments down below. And I hope you guys are ready for champs, which is coming up next weekend. Obviously, you know me. I'm repping my subliners. I know Outlaw will be repping Optic low-key. And uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm super excited, man. I'm happy for this year to finally come to a close. And I'm very excited for how Black Ops 6 is going to look. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.